So Nico and I have liked doing everything ourselves for the past couple of years and we've learned a lot about how to do everything ourselves and we've also learned we can't do everything ourselves. It took us a few years to figure out but delegating tasks to other people who would be better at those certain things than us gives us more time to create music and focus on the songwriting aspect and put out more awesome content. Hopefully awesome content. So we started thinking about ways to bring in professionals to do things better than we could do them. For Death of Trap, we've hired someone to mix it. We're going to hire someone to master it. We have Brandon, he's going to edit the music video. Brandon now brought in his friend, who is an expert in cinematography, to help make this music video look incredibly well shot. And Darnell's taking incredible photos for Instagram. Nico has like five minutes to finish the BTS. This is coming out very soon. <laughs> It was as if everything was meant to happen exactly the way it did. We sent Brandon to Chinatown with exactly a hundred bucks and he was bartering with these guys. He was getting the price of bags cut in half and brought us a whole bunch of cool designer brand clothing that we could use for the scene. There's a bunch of dudes with bags. Brandon's picking up the shit for us. <laughs> Which ones look like the most flashy roll, like, I guess Rolex or something like that, right? His friend Mark decided he just wanted to come in and help us with this one, and it was perfect because this is the scene that we needed a cinematographer who was that talented on. Expensive magic. Everything just came together perfectly, and it truly makes me believe that this music video is going to be huge. We picked up Brandon and Mark from the train station, got lunch, ran to ShopRite, and basically there's a scene here where Kyle is pouring out lean. So we had to pick up certain ingredients from the supermarket and it was kind of weird walking through the supermarket with these things in our hands because we were getting dirty looks from people. Adam allowed us to come back to his awesome junkyard and we shot the climax of the music video there. We greatly appreciate that. Thanks Adam. We started setting up. We set up a 55 gallon drum. Uh, started a fire in it and then went to work on the scene. We're pouring oh, out uh, some fake lean <laughs> to symbolize how, how much it's like garbage. It's not like garbage, it is garbage. It is garbage and we're sick of people glorifying it. What's up guys, here with the boys and one of my personal boys, this is Pharaoh. Say what's up. What up, what up. Brandon and Mark working together is so perfect and these clips came out better than anything that we have ever filmed. So we just have an incredible team around us for this project. Um, and we would recommend these guys and the work they do to anybody. Um, so if you want to follow them on Instagram, we will drop their handles right here. Darnell is DMAC Photos. We got Brandon, Park Slope Kid. And we got Mark, Farrell Arter. Adam let me drive the tractor. And he let me pick up a pile of four or five cars, pick that shit up, and drop it on the ground. Threw it on the ground! Drop it. Drop it, dude. <laughs> I had the testosterone flowing through my veins. I just wanna, I just wanna work out and eat pizza and watch football and shit now. <laughs> if you wanna see what these kids are doing, subscribe to their YouTube channel and like their Facebook. There will always be links in the video info, and we usually post different stuff on every single social media platform. So if you want to see everything, that's how you'll do it. Love. Peace and love.